Hey my YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. And I know you've seen in the thumbnail, yep, we're gonna be making a honey bun cake. So to start off, I'm gonna be using a box cake mix. And in this video, you're gonna be getting two for one. You're gonna learn how to make a honey bun cake and you're gonna learn how to make your box cake taste just like a homemade cake with extra moisture to it, which will be fantastic for this recipe or any other recipe that you choose to use a box cake mix for so the ingredients I have here is one box of cake mix I'm using Pillsbury I have one box of instant vanilla pudding I have some cinnamon and I have vanilla extract I have one cup of milk whole milk instead of using what the box calls for which is water this is going to help with the moisture of your cake and I have also here, which is not on the box ingredients, is one cup of sour cream. And the box calls for three eggs. I'm using four. That's also going to help with your moisture of the cake. And right here, I have three-fourths cups of vegetable oil. You can also use butter, but I'm using vegetable oil for this recipe. And in this cup is one cup of packed light brown sugar. And then I have two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, which we will be mixing up in a few to go in the middle of that cake. So for now, I'm going to just get to mixing this cake. And I already pre-opened the package that the cake mix comes in. So I'm going to just dump that in the bowl. Just get rid of that. And also the one package of instant vanilla pudding already pre-opened. I'm going to dump this in as well. And guys, there's no order to doing this cake because it's not a homemade cake. So, you know, everything will just go right in. I'm going to add my eggs, all four. I'm going to add that. Let me just move this over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add that three-fourths cup of vegetable oil. I'm going to add that one cup of whole milk. Now for the sour cream. So guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow over here. I'm gonna get this mixer. Uh, so I can get the rest of that sour cream. Ha ha. Okay, that's enough of being greedy. So the cinnamon I just had here to show you exactly what I was using, but it's already in the mix, which is right here. And also I'm gonna be using, last but not least, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. There you have it. Okay. okay, so we are going to mix this cake now. I'm gonna start off on a low speed just to get everything mixed up and together, then I'll turn it up a bit. And also for this, I'm not going to um, mix this cake for very long because I don't wanna over mix it where the batter is too loose. And then your cake is dried out and it'll become very dense. So now, okay, I'm gonna turn this up a bit. And if you're not sure if your cake batter is mixed all the way in such a short amount of time, just make sure that you don't see any streaks of eggs, sour cream, or any of the oil. And once you don't see any of that anymore, 
you know your cake mix is fully mixed as we have here and I'm done see that no streaks Oh, so I'm gonna get rid of this and now we're going to start to layer this cake so I'm gonna get my foil pan of choice to layer this cake in and I'll be right back okay so we're gonna start by mixing our cinnamon which is two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and one cup of packed light brown sugar just gonna mix all of this so that it's well incorporated with each other this is gonna go into the middle of our uh, our cake Wow, this smells so amazing. If you're a cinnamon lover, you're definitely going to love this cake. I promise you. Let's get that fully incorporated. It's going to be a little bit crummy, which is totally fine because that's what you want. Make sure you got all the sides of brown sugar in. All right, I'm turning the bowl as I go to make sure the brown sugar and cinnamon is mixed all the way through. All right, guys, and that is it for our sugar mix. So now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to spray down my pan. You can go old school with butter and flour, but I'm going to Use this baking spray that already has flour in it and butter flavor. And you want to spray this well because you don't want it to stick. Whoa, I sprayed my wall. Alright, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna set this aside. Now we're gonna put in half of our batter into this foil pan. Okay, and that should be enough. Then I'm just going to evenly spread this out. Okay, now we're going to go in with the sugar mix. You just want to spread it throughout this whole middle layer. Make sure it's everywhere. And if you have some left over, if this is too much for you, that's quite all right. Just make sure you evenly spread it throughout this uh, this cake layer so that it can be everywhere. You don't want to get a piece of cake and it doesn't have any of this good sugar mix in it. And then plus, if you're serving this to people, you don't want to disappoint them. All right. And that's it, guys, for this part. Now I'm going to add the rest of our cake batter. At first, it's going to look like, you know, it's not enough cake batter, but trust me, it is because you're going to have to spread this as well. Okay, let me get a better grip on this bowl so I can really get everything out. All right, that looks good to me. So now I'm just going to spread this top layer out.
And I like to leave the corners a little bit with just the uh, brown sugar mix so it can get a little crispy at the ends. Just want to move that to the sides. And it's okay if it looks like this. Trust me, guys. It's all going to bake together and come out perfectly. Trust me. Okay. Get a little bit more to the sides. Okay, that about does it. Now what you want to do is you can grab any type of uh, knife, fork, or spoon to uh, make the swirls that we are getting ready to create. Just want to go up and down. And we're going to do it this way. And guys, our cake is ready to bake. And I will show you up close. Got that? Okay, so I'm going to place this in the oven, which we should already have had preheating to about 325 350 depending on your oven if your oven is too hot and you know that turn it down to 325 degrees and if your oven is perfect then bake your cake at 350 degrees and the amount of time we are going to be baking this for is about 30 to 35 minutes depending on your oven if you need to go a little less go less if you need to go longer go a little longer but make sure you do the toothpick check to make sure that your cake is done on the inside Okay, so let's get this cake into the oven. So I will be right back when it's time to check this cake. But for now, let's get this glaze going for the cake. Because when the cake comes out, this glaze is going to go on immediately while it's hot. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's make this quick and easy glaze for this honey bun cake. You're going to need one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar, three to four tablespoons of whole milk, and some vanilla extract. And if you're feeling a little fancy, you can add a pinch or two of uh, cinnamon and nutmeg if you are okay with those flavors in your, uh, in your glaze. All right, so I'm going to add the uh, three tablespoons of whole milk, which I am starting with. I'll know if I need the fourth one in just a bit. I'm going to be using two teaspoons of this vanilla extract. Whoa. All right, let's get to mixing. Yeah, I'm probably going to be using uh, one more tablespoon of... Uh, whole milk to this uh, this mix so I'm gonna be adding one more tablespoon probably one teaspoon of whole milk just to get it a tad bit looser just a bit so I would say three and a half tablespoons of uh, whole milk Because remember, this is going on the cake when it's hot. So it's going to melt immediately and it's going to spread. So you don't want it too loose because you don't want to put you know, anything loose on the cake and it'll become soggy. That's what you don't want. So this should be about fine. This consistency. Okay, so let's check on our cake and drizzle this. Okay, so let's check on our cake and drizzle this glaze over it 
and we will be done with our honey bun cake. Okay, so it's time to check that cake. And guys, this looks amazing and it definitely smells amazing. I wish you guys can smell it, but you will when you make this cake on your own. So let's do the toothpick check. Clean, if you can see, clean. Direct middle, clean. And the end, clean. This cake is ready to come out. So let's take this cake out and put that vanilla glaze that we made over this cake while it's still hot, the way it's supposed to be. And then we'll get to cutting. It's glaze time. Guys, look at this cake. It looks amazing. Amazing. And there's no specific way to add this glaze on it because it's going to spread either way that you put it. So I'm just going to pour up and down, then from the sides. Remember guys, do this as soon as you take the cake out while it's still hot. And then also let it sit as it, you know, begins to cool down because you don't want to cut into this yet. The cake isn't ready to be cut because it's way too hot. I'm going to get something to scrape the rest of this glaze that we made out. Whoa, oh, a little bit of it didn't get mixed, but it's mixed now. So now we can kind of like smear that on. Get it along the sides. Okay, guys, so there's our honey bun cake. I'm going to let this cool for about 15 to maybe 20 minutes, and we'll cut this cake to see exactly what it looks on the, the and we'll cut this cake to see exactly how it looks on the inside, and we will definitely be tasting this cake. So guys, I will be right back when it's that time. Okay guys, so it's time to cut this honey bun cake. So I did let it sit out a little bit longer than I said that I would. And the, uh, the glaze started to form a slight little crust, which is fine because if you warm it up, it'll melt right away. So I'm going to cut this now. and see what we got going on on the inside. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Should have used this. Yeah, let me grab a spatula, guys. Whoa. All right, guys, there's that honey bun cake. Yeah, looks amazing. See? The brown sugar and the cinnamon all throughout. And you can tell the cake is fairly moist. Man, that is amazing. I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing too. So let's taste this cake. We already checked for the moisture. You can see that. All right, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> Reminds me of being a kid. <laughs> Going to the store, getting those little Debbie cakes. But now with this recipe, you don't have to go to the store to get a little Debbie cake. You can make this at home. 
for your children, your family. You can make it to take to an event. Trust me, they'll love it. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll be back with another video.